Hello, well today's tutorial is going to be how to make a Calvin Harris style build up synth. Uh, this is the kind of one that starts off quite slowly and then goes up in pitch and it goes up in speed as well. Um, it's used in his latest song, Under Control. Um, well, I'm just going to play you an example of what it actually sounds like in the original track just now. Okay, and now we're going to have a little listen to what we're actually going to be making today. Okay, so what we're actually going to begin on doing is opening up a new instance of Massive. There we go. And we're going to make sure it's just Oscillator 1 that's on. Uh, this is going to be on a square saw wave 1. Intensity, we're going to turn down to around around 3 o'clock-ish. Wavetable position is entirely up to you where it goes. I'm probably going to put it about 2 or 3 o'clock, so probably about there. Another important thing is to get this the same effect that I just did, is to turn the pitch up to 12, so up one octave. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to macro 2, which is here. We're going to drag this over to the tuning modulation here and turn this up to two octaves, so it would be 24. Uh, this means when you actually play it with a note, if you hold a note down and play it, it will um, kind of detune, uh, go up the way you push it to the right, or you pull it down here, it will tune dependent on uh, where you put the macro. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, go over to the filter one, we're going to apply the daft filter here, turn the resonant down or else you might end up with a mad squeaky thing. You're going to apply envelope 2 or any of the envelopes in fact over here. Uh, I'm going to turn the cutoff all the way down and then turn this up. Um, just to get the right sound I'm going to put the attack all the way down so you end up with a really kind of popping sound as soon as the synth comes in. Level I'm just going to leave that roundabout in the middle. Uh, this means actually no maybe just up a little bit. Yeah, that means that when the note comes in the first, uh, when the keys hit, it will be really noisy, well, louder at the top, as soon as the keys hit, and then it will dim a bit towards while the note's being uh, held on, which is pretty much what you want. Um, the next thing is the most important thing. I'm just going to, up. you can open any LFO, I'm just going to go for six because I've just clicked on that. We're going to drag this over to the second one here and turn it all the way up. Uh, you want to make sure that the sync is unchecked for this effect because it's a slow kind of building up, not a jumpy snapping to the tempo kind of thing. Um, I'm The rate's entirely up to you where you actually want to start it, but I'm probably going to start around uh, here-ish just for that effect. Um, the rate is how fast, well in this case how fast the note will actually kind of jutter in and up, uh, on and off. Uh, we're going to use this one here on both of them so it's a steady line. Uh, we're going to apply the macro over to the rate here and just turn it all the way up. Uh, that means when you turn the macro up it'll um, in not only uh, increase the the note, how like high pitched the note is, but it'll increase the uh, the rate in which the note is repeated. Um, the next thing we need to do is, well, the next thing is optional. I like to add a little reverb just so it's not completely um, dry. Probably going to put the dry wet to about here, size down a fair bit. Um, and now all we need to do is go to the automation section and add macro to, I've already done it, macro to here. So to actually go about drawing the automation, you'll probably, just for some tips, you probably want to have um, a slow build up, so a line around 20, 30 degrees, uh, depending on how long you're actually wanting the build up to take place. Um, next, you're probably going to want to add a nice little flick towards the end. This uh, really helps to kind of give a better build up than just having a straight line that just goes up, if that makes any sense. A um, few other addition, additions that you could add to this effect is um, adding an EQ sweep 
so that it actually sweeps all the way up to the high frequencies right towards the end. The same kind of principle, 30 degrees, and then right towards the end on the last kind of half bar, it goes right up to the top. Uh, another thing you can probably do this with, Calvin Harris does this with his Under Control song, most of his other songs, is add a snares that goes, starts on eighth notes, so do, 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 and then goes to 16th notes, do, 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 and then goes even faster, and even you can, uh, automate the uh, EQ on that as well. Uh, another really good addition for build-ups is to actually do a noise sweep. So have a kind of shh kind of thing like that. Not a very good impression there, but yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot. Uh, please don't forget to like this video, rate it, comment, subscribe, all the usual uh, good jazz. And please also don't forget to go to my website, www.harrylang.co.uk. Uh, loads of cool stuff on there, like new tutorials, videos, songs, all of that stuff. Uh, so yeah, thank you.